Okay, nothing about what I'm seeing in your feed jumps out at me as problematic. The excess liquid is actually a good thing, so don't let that put you off. These are the two containers I currently have going. I started this one yesterday, and I started this one on Monday. So let me open this one up and show you what it looks like. This, um, you can see it's bubbling currently. That means it's fermenting. That's a good sign. And you'll notice that there is a lot of liquid on top. I do that intentionally because you really want to try to keep everything that's in there fully submerged. Things that are um, floating on top can potentially begin to rot. Um, mold can grow on those things. If you keep everything fully submerged, you usually have better success with your fermented feed. Judging by what I saw in your video, it looks like you're using a feed that is maybe pelletized or a crumble. That's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That will work. It's going to look a little bit different than what I have going here. So this is actually some scratch that I'm fermenting. You can ferment your feed. You can ferment your scratch. Um, either way, it's the same process. So what you described smelling sort of sweet and a little bit yeasty, that's a good sign. That means uh, nothing has gone wrong, nothing is off. If it smelled rotten, uh, then I would say it's it, maybe something has gone wrong. But from what I'm seeing and what you described in your video, I don't see a problem there. I would give it one more day. I typically ferment my scratch mixes and my feeds for three days and then give it to the chickens. And that's not a hard fast rule. You can ferment it longer, you can ferment it less time. It really just depends on your environment, what your moisture level is like, what you're starting with. When you're fermenting a feed, you really want to start with dechlorinated water. And I have a couple videos where I talk about how I dechlorinate my water. You can also just buy distilled water that doesn't have any chlorine in it. And just one more word about the excess liquid, because I really don't want you to worry about that, is the um, excess liquid contains enzymes that are good for the gut. So when you take your fermented chicken feed out to your chickens, go ahead and take that liquid with it. Either um, dump it out on the ground with your feed that you have fermented, or put it in the container that you're going to feed to your chickens. Um, go ahead and include that. They'll drink it and they'll get those natural enzymes and bacterias and other things that are good for the gut along with the fermented feed. So the excess liquid is a good thing, not a problem at all.